Today fishing is really fantastic for many different fish species and most anglers like to take photos when they do get a trophy. So you've got a big fish in the boat. Make sure it's doing well in the live well or hooked up alongside of the boat until you're ready for that perfect shot. Now let's think about lighting. Natural lighting early in the day or late in the day is always best. Position the boat so the angler and fish are facing into the sun. Since the sun will be at your back, make sure you're at an angle that doesn't throw shadows on the angler or the fish. If the angler is wearing a hat, make sure to tilt the bill up for a little bit more lighting on the face or simply remove the hat. Next, try a test shot with the angler holding their hands out without the fish. Try that a couple times, portrait and landscape. You can turn on the grid function in the camera setting in an iPhone to help you with composition, keeping the angler and fish along the grid lines and intersection points. This is called the rule of thirds. Pushing the fish slightly towards the camera is a common technique, but not too far to distort the size of the fish. In bright sunlight or low light, turn on the HDR function to help create a better image. You can also ramp up the exposure on most smartphones. There's also a flash for extremely low light conditions, and you can add a headlamp or other light source to capture better night fishing shots too. Check your focus on the test shots. Although autofocus is good, you can also tap on the fish or the angler's face to lock in focus there. Now have the angler remove the fish from the live well, being careful not to touch the gills. Have the angler get in position and take several shots, but don't keep the fish out of water too long. When you're done with the photos, just release the fish and then share away on social media.